in any of these missions, the period from hitting the atmosphere to getting to the surface has been characterized, depending on the mission, as either the six minutes of terror <laughs> or the seven minutes of terror. And that's the time that it takes to go from 12,000 miles per hour to zero. It is a daunting task that requires several different technologies to make it work. The hardest thing about watching Curiosity land, and Perseverance will do the same thing, is knowing that the rover has either landed successfully or crashed long before we hear about it. It takes a few minutes for us to know, and that is a very, very tense time period. And, and for Curiosity, it was dead silence through that period. And I expect the same for when Perseverance lands. Both Curiosity and Mars 2020 will use a system called the Sky Crane. So this involves the final step in which the rover attached to a platform with retro rockets will lower down close to the surface of Mars within about 10 meters of the surface. And then the rover will essentially be winched to the surface on the sky crane. And then as soon as the rover touches down, the cables will be cut and the platform with the rockets will fly away and crash. For the Curiosity landing, I was with the science team in a basement room in JPL with about 300, 400 other members of the science team. Some people were sitting there watching landing. I was not sitting there. I was pacing in the back of the room and I had the checklist of events and I was listening as they were calling it out. And I'm like, yep, okay, check. It's happening, it's happening, it's happening. Boom, we're on the surface. <laughs> 